Hello and welcome back to another FIFA 23 player review. Today's player review is the brand new showdown Thomas Munier, so let's get into it. As always, I start off with the team that I use for the review. As you can see, it is a 4-2-4 Bundesliga League R hybrid. I actually very much enjoyed using this team over the three games. So with that being said, let's look at the stats for Munier after my three Rivals games. Now on the screen you can see I played three games in Rivals, scored zero goals and got one assist. But to be honest, when you watch the gameplay, I think it's arguably two assists actually. So let's head into the gameplay. Okay, so into the gameplay section we go. Now this first game is literally him just making a pass because nothing else really happened in game number one. After that attack, my opponent just quit. So I didn't even play more than 10 in-game minutes. Then, as you can see, nice little cross from Munia. Unfortunately, Pyatt didn't finish it off. Then, running down the wing once again, makes it past Alexandro. Then, for some reason, just tries to cross it on his weak left foot. I really don't know why. Then, moving on, this is where I think this should really count as an assist. Now, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Let me know down in the comment section below. But for me, that is or should have been a Mounier assist. Then this is his actual assist from the corner. Very nice header from Fafana. And heading into the final clip of the gameplay. So I'll be back with the pros and cons in a second. Moving on to the pros of Munier, starting off with his pace. Now, he does have a really nasty pace split with 82 acceleration and 95 sprint speed. However, when you apply the anchor, because he becomes lengthy, then it sort of just eliminates the fact that his pace split is a little bit off. Then his shooting, he does actually have very well rounded shooting. His passing is very good, especially his 90 crossing. As you saw from the gameplay, he did get quite a few crosses in. Admittedly, one of them, for some reason, the game decided he would try and play it on his weaker left foot. Then his defending was absolutely incredible, along with Hummels, who I've actually got to say, if you do have the opportunity to pick him up, Hummels is actually incredible as well. Him and Munia were just completely defending that right hand side. And then lastly, it is his physicals. Up to 93 when you apply an anchor. His lowest stat is his aggression at 85. Onto the cons for Munia. I'd have to say his 80 agility and 74 balance. And to be honest, that's really it about this card. Because he's 6 foot 3. You do feel that he does turn a little bit like a truck. But to be honest, once he's on the ball, if you're running in a straight line, then to be honest, his agility and balance doesn't really make that much of an impact. So would I recommend completing this showdown Thomas Munier? For me, it's a no-brainer. It's, you have to do it. But under 40k, this card is one of the best fullbacks on the game. He's got great pace, great shooting, great passing, great dribbling, great defending, great physicals. I mean, you really can't go wrong with this card. And if Dortmund do win, then he'll have a five-star weak foot. Now, I do think Dortmund probably will win against Union Berlin. I know it's second against third, but I do personally believe Dortmund will be edging this one, so he will get a plus two as well, so his stats will become even better, and all of this for under 40k, just complete him. It's a no-brainer for me. I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. If you did enjoy, drop a like, comment down below who you think is going to win out of Dortmund and Union Berlin, and if you're new around here, 
hit that subscribe button to not miss out on any FIFA 23 content. But for now, I'll see you in the next one.